Good afternoon people, Pete from Roblox TV uh, and as promised I've got an update for you on the MR2. Now first things first, obviously it's only just me today, uh, we haven't got any Matt unfortunately because we're in an actual lockdown, but unfortunately the scuba has seen a bit of action as well. Um, despite it being off the road, it has taken a bit of a ding if you can believe that. Yes, yeah, so what's up everyone, just a little update my end. So if you remember back a few months ago we had Storm Dennis, I had a gate lent up and um, ready to get fitted to my garage and actually blew over in the storm and uh, hit the scoop quite bad. Um, so you can see the damage here um, and it went through the swage line which meant that it couldn't be knocked out or repaired and it's now gone rusty to make it even worse. One thing though, we are still fresh to death in there. So luckily I've managed to source another wing um, and we're also getting some of the lacquer repairs. So there's a few like bits of lacquer gone on the car. So yeah, good to see everyone. Um, and the last few months I've been a little bit shit. It's not actually too bad to replace the fender panels on the scoop, but it's just a pain in the ass, isn't it? And also you don't expect the car to get damaged when it's off the road. So, so that's a Scooby anyway. Now with the MR2, if you're anything like me, you spend most of your time online just looking at random photos of cars and the make of your car and trying to work out what the hell to do and get ideas and inspiration. Um, my head's a mess now, to be honest with you. I've got so many freaking ideas. Um, I'm in a position at the moment where I've got a car that needs working on and a shitload of parts, so I might as well just crack on. So um, if you weren't already aware of what situation John was in beforehand, let's recap. Overall, he looks much worse than he actually is, and that's mainly down to the fact that he's currently running in three, almost four different colors. Uh, we've got our blue, we've got our black, and we've got a very nice bit of dark green in there as well. We've got the front bumper trim strips as well. They just need finishing and painting to go with the rest of the car. Along the side, we've got a nice little bit of rust on the sills and the driver's side has also started eating into the door as well. Now the sills had actually already been rust proof before I bought the car, just not very tidily. Um, and I've already taken a proper look at them so we'll come back to them for the next video. Um, but realistically, all of that's gonna have to be sanded back and re-rust proofed uh, and then primed as well. And Obviously we've got them grady skirts I've been banging on about for the last couple of months, so once that's been properly protected, they'll cover up all of that mess as well. Now I think we can all admit the wheels are absolutely awful, uh, and I think three out of four of the tyres have got slow punctures as well, so they have to go. I actually think they came off an Alfa Romeo originally, um, but could be wrong. They've been curbed into a whole new design, and they've also not staggered, which is needed for the MR2. And finally the spoiler. Now we've got orange peel in the paint at the moment, but that doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna be replacing the whole middle section with an auto piston wing anyway. Um, I'm actually really excited about that because since I got the car, I wanted that wing on the car and I think it just transforms the whole back of it. So that's exciting. And then on the positive side, we've got our nice little refreshed inlet manifold and cam cover, our induction kit in air feed we fitted last year. And don't forget our short shifter and our nice little carbon fiber penis as well. We're gonna need a radio change because that just plays static at the moment, which isn't all that catchy. And then the driver's seat is ripped along the arm as well. So whilst it's still really comfortable, it just looks horrible, doesn't it? So. If we go around the back of the car, we've got them kooky lights we fitted from last year, which just give it such a younger look. Uh, and we've got our centre panel as well that we'd wrapped in black. Now, we might spray it, we might leave it wrapped, but we'll just see how it goes with the look of the car. So they're the main areas on the car needing work, um, but around the car you've also got loads of little areas that are dinged, dented, a little bit rusty, or just generally need a bit of prep work as we go around as well. So they will get actioned as we get to them. So, plan for John over the next three weeks. I basically want to get him into all one colour. So I need to prep the bodywork, I need to get my new skirts, my new wing fitted, uh, I need to sand it all back, primer him up, and then I need to choose a colour. And that's still to be decided, to be very honest with you. Although a few of you might know what I'm sort of thinking. In terms of videos, I'm gonna try and get one up at least once a week, because realistically, I'll be out here every day anyway, so there should be, as long as everything's going well, plenty to talk about. Um, for any more updates in the meantime, you can find us on Instagram. I'll be putting everything up there, whether it's going good or bad. A few of you might have spotted that the skirts have already been fitted to the car. They look fucking awesome. Uh, that'll be in next week's video, along with a little bit more detail as to what that rust patch looks like, because it looks daunting, let's be honest. Um, but thankfully, it's not so bad. So we'll be going through how I go about getting those fitted and what the next process is for the car. In the meantime, I hope everyone's staying safe. If you've got any thoughts, ideas, uh, or you just want to talk me out of it, find us on Instagram, send us a message. Uh, and as always, just watch him. Take it easy.